The Angels have signed Noah Syndergaard, one year, $21 million. This news just came in like an hour or two ago, and I'm really, really excited. But this is a risk. It is a risk. Noah Syndergaard hasn't pitched a full season since 2019. He only pitched two games last season. He didn't pitch at all in 2020. He hasn't had a good season since 2018. So it is a risk, but I'm really confident that he'll have a comeback season this year but there is a chance that he doesn't. But regardless, I'm happy that the Angels are taking this risk in signing a former star pitcher. And no Singdar is still a young guy. He's still a young pitcher. He can very easily go back to his earlier form. I'm talking 2018 and before. Um, pitch his absolute heat. And no Syndergaard, thank God he's finally out of the shithole that is the New York Mets. He goes from the Mets that have absolutely zero bats to one of the best lineups in baseball. Hopefully Rendon has a comeback season. Trout and Otani, two of the best hitters in the league. Trout's the best hitter in the league. So Syndergaard himself must be happy about this. Angel fans should be happy because we finally, I think we have a GM that is willing to make trades and just roll the dice and get big guys and see if it works out. Signing former stars that are old and washed out like Matt Harvey, Trevor Cahill is obviously not what you're supposed to do. This is a young guy that's still in his 20s. He can very easily go back to his form a few years back. So hopefully this is the first of many deals or not maybe not many but hopefully it's the first of a few big signings we make maybe max scherzer too this is what we need we just need to i don't know what the say i don't know what the saying is for this but we need to just go all in one year and just take a chance and get some big guys and just not be in this in-between rebuild and and trying to compete like we've been I think the past six seven seasons we've just been in between and we never made the playoffs one season we just need to say fuck it let's put it all on the line let's get big guys maybe trade a few prospects and hopefully this offseason it happens and it starts with with signing Noah Syndergaard and I'm very excited about it let me know your thoughts in the comment down below make sure you leave a like um and yeah I'm excited about it I'll, rele I'll release more videos reacting to more news if more angel news happens and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Peace.